Welcome to this episode of Healthy and Happy. I am Waveney Martinborough, your host. And our topic for today is Diabetes is a Sugar Daddy, How to Keep Him Out. And our presenter, Dr. George Guthrie. So who is a sugar daddy? Usually it's an older man who is giving financial or other support to a younger woman in exchange for sexual favors. So Doc, why can we call type 2 diabetes a sugar daddy? <laughs> well, I suppose we could call it a sugar daddy because uh, it kind of uh, makes sweet things happen. <laughs> Seems kind of nice at the beginning, but I suppose it's got a bad side too because uh, diabetes fathers children like uh, heart attacks and strokes and amputations and those types of things. Okay. I understand that over 29 million people in the United States are afflicted with diabetes. Almost one in 10. Mm -hmm. So my big question is, uh, how does this disease operate? Uh, type two diabetes comes when there's too much energy coming in not enough energy coming out, and the body has then too much energy inside. It develops an insulin resistance, and that insulin resistance uh, leads to an increase in insulin, and then all the diseases and problems in children tend to come out of that. Well, that's good to know. Two questions. Okay. Can type 2 diabetes be prevented? Mm -hmm. And question two, can it ever be reversed. It's helpful to understand where it comes from because if you understand the cause then it's easier to kind of focus on how to prevent it and then maybe in many cases to actually reverse it. Okay. So uh, we've already talked about too much energy in, not enough energy out. Energy in is food, calories, energy out is exercise. So if I'm focusing on preventing what I'd like to do is to keep the calories coming in fairly steady and or, or decrease them a little bit and then uh, make sure there's plenty of exercise. So that's pretty well documented to help prevent type 2 diabetes. Uh, can you say a bit about sugar? A lot of people think of diabetes as being a sugar problem. It's much more about calories. A lot don't understand that too much fat or too much sugar can cause the problem. It really is uh, an excess of calories. So, hence, it is tied rather closely to obesity. I don't know whether you've heard the term, but in the medical literature, we read of something called diabesity. So <laughs> I like to say for every pound you uh, gain, you're a step closer to diabetes. And every pound you lose, you're stepping away from diabetes. Okay, so what are good sources of food that will combat the rise of diabetes? So you'd like to talk about the food part of things. Yeah. Well, <coughs> the intake part. <laughs> the intake <laughs> part, that's right. So if we uh, eat foods that are high in sugar and fat, the sugar especially tends to go into the body very quickly and this puts a strain on the system. Uh, if we take, have foods that are, uh, that kind of enter slowly into the bloodstream, the body has more of a chance to adjust. And those foods are foods that are uh, high in fiber, high in water, and low in fat. Those foods are best found in the, uh, uh, the produce part of the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sometimes we divide them up. I mean, uh, those that put the energy in slowest, for example, uh, of the fruits are the northern fruits. You know, things okay. like pears and, and apples and, and uh, cherries and peaches and berries. Whereas southern fruit, like uh, Mangoes, mangoes and uh, yes, <laughs> one of my favorite foods as well. Mangoes and uh, uh, kind of very ripe bananas, those types of things tend to go in faster. For vegetables, we like above ground vegetables better than below ground vegetables because they have a lot of fiber, a lot of water, 
and tend to uh, let the sugars go into the body much more slowly. I have never heard the term above ground and below ground. <laughs> but it, uh, it's it may easy, be a helpful easy. concept. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Well, it sounds like sodas and sweet drinks are in bad company. That, that's a good point, and I'm glad that you just didn't say sodas, but it's really sodas and sweet drinks. And it's interesting that the science is telling us that that includes fruit juices as well, because, for example, a big glass of orange juice or apple juice may actually have as much sugar as a soda does. So somewhere between 8 to 12 teaspoons uh, per uh, you know, can yeah. or serving. And that adds up if people are taking a, a couple of uh, sweet drinks a day, why that's what, 700 in a year? So it ends up being a lot of extra calories. So if one's trying to prevent or reverse type 2 diabetes, uh, minimizing or eliminating those would be a really good step. Okay, so step one, the intake, tell us about the output. The output is, is exercise, right? Okay. So as we exercise, we tend to burn calories. When our muscles uh, need energy, they tend to become more insulin sensitive. The energy is taken in and it decreases the excess calories overall and helps the whole process improve. So manage the intake, the output by exercise. Yes. Do we have a third strategy? Uh, let's see, third strategy does our weight have anything to do well, with it? Well, I had mentioned the weight, and, and you're right. We could actually, because of that term, diabetes, losing weight. Which is a new term. I never heard it yeah, before. Yeah, it, it, it is a bit uh, new, but I think it speaks well. Yes. Uh, bringing our weight down uh, will help reverse the process. Just You don't have to lose the weight. Just being in the process of so weight managing. loss. Yeah. If it's on its way down, the health is beginning to happen in the body. The insulin resistance turns around, the insulin levels come down. One final question. Yes. Do we ever need medication? Uh, medications are uh, necessary for some patients to get their blood sugars down, but we should always focus on the cause and treat that. Thank you so much for sharing these strategies. If we follow them, we'll keep the sugar daddy out. it will be on the right path. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are excellent strategies. Be sure to view part two of this episode.